Now, your Alaska Link weather for Anchorage and South Central. Good evening. We're almost to that weekend forecast and we are watching that it's been a bit active, adding even snowfall to our monthly snowfall report there at over eight inches now and our seasonal total just shy of 132 inches. Now that doesn't include anything from today and we're still noting that snowfall is in our forecast here for our Friday. It has been a day battling those very strong winds, but what we're watching is that the winds are actually going to gradually ease, which is going to open up the potential to bring us some bursts of snow showers as we step into our Friday forecast. We even note that here over the midnight hour through our morning hours, those winds even looking to die down to more of a 20 mile per hour threshold. And we do steer away from the, some of those uh, winds that can push their way through some of those passes. And we'll see that that again allows for that downsloping to uh, come to an end, opening up moisture to fill into some of these low points and bring us those areas of snow showers. So we'll be watching that accumulation again. We're keeping very close eye on potentially bringing these snow numbers up to one of the snowiest seasons on record. We would definitely have to get still a couple inches to get us to that place, but something we'll continue to watch for. But note that after we deal with this lingering system into our Friday, we have a quiet forecast ahead, trying to bring back some of those more April light conditions. We will calm and clear out those conditions into the weekend and even talk about bringing in some seasonable temperatures that could hold on for early next week. Now here as we head into our Friday will keep a chance for those snow showers throughout much of the daytime. We're noting that it's also going to be a little bit of a cooler day. We're going to keep temperatures pretty steady within those 30s, which will allow for that main precipitation type to be snowfall. Now, not a lot of organization. There is just a little bit of a low. You can see a bit of rotation just outside of the Prince William Sound there. That's going to keep us under those snow chances through much of the day. But by about sunset on Friday here, we note that we start to diminish the moisture and then even into Saturday morning, Morning, there seems to be that clearing sky that drops its way in. So there is these improvements that quickly be made. And with the sun angle that we have this time of the year, those temperatures should be able to jump up as well. 14 hours and 30 minutes of that daylight is what we're working with this time of the year. 644 is our sunrise and 915 is our sunset. Might see some times of that sunshine for a Friday, but again, still battling a little bit more of that cooler and still snowy pattern as that systems around us. We know much of the South Central here striving for those 40s, but settling into those mid 30s with those snow chances. We'll note that as we head into our Saturday, though, this is going to be the better chance to work into some of those brighter skies and note that temperatures will try to make their way up towards those 40s. Again, we'll have to keep an eye on potentially making some adjustments. If we stay gloomier, definitely 30s. If we get that bright in sky, that's going to jump those temperatures up. So there will need to be some adjustments here. I'm expecting to at least be able to hit those 40s a few times with that sunshine early next week.